I love the look of a brand new wallet, especially this one in a natural veg tan leather. This is the Rambler, a wallet from the brand Tall Pines Handcrafted. The Rambler is made from the world famous Horween Dublin veg tan leather. If you're not familiar with this leather, it's a more rustic looking veg tan leather that is tanned in a way to showcase the natural grain and the characteristics of the leather. This leather will evolve and patina over time to truly become a one of a kind piece that will carry the markings of the adventure you take it on. The packaging from Tall Pines Handcrafted is simple and really well done. A lace of yarn holding two boxes together, one protecting the precious rambler and the other with the gent. A leather knife slip for the modern gentleman. Handmade with veg tan leather from the Horween Tannery in Chicago that will form to the knife used with it. This slip is designed to protect and complement your EDC gear. I am a big fan of simplicity when it comes to adding leather goods to my EDC. Longevity and overall quality come to mind and based of the look and feel this seems like a perfect fit. Over time, the patina will give each of these items a totally unique look and a story. The Rambler measures in at around 4 inches tall and 3 inches wide when closed and will have 4 pockets that can fit several cards in cash. Personally, the Rambler is a little bit big for my EDC, but I love having a wallet like this when I travel. Being able to hold multiple cards, cash, and possibly receipts is a big must for me when I'm out traveling for work, so this is definitely a wallet that would come with me on many adventures. The pockets are nice and loose, so my cards are able to come in and out easily, and everything is very easily accessible, which I really enjoy. The Gent measures in at 4.5 inches long by 1.9 inches wide, and will form fit to your pocket knife. Now this being a leather knife slip for the modern gentleman, you can imagine that most big knives are not going to fit in this slip. My custom Pena had a hard time fitting inside of it. It did fit kind of snug and you can imagine that it is going to stretch out over time, but this is definitely a knife slip for something like a slip joint. Again, more gentleman-like, a little bit more discreet, but nonetheless the quality feels incredible and I think it looks really damn good. I will be trying my best to capture the patina process on this particular wallet over on my Instagram so you can follow me there at Captain Ricky to keep track of how this is going to look over time. I really want to show you guys how this leather changes the more you use it. And while you're already there, make sure you follow Nathan on Instagram as well at Tall Pines Handcrafted. I asked Nathan what inspired his journey into the leather craft world and he told me that he spent a lot of his childhood in north central Wisconsin, so he's always had a love for the outdoors. Some of his earliest memories are going fishing and being out in the woods with his father and his grandfather. Along with his passion of the great outdoors, he was also passed down his passion for EDC gear. His father and grandfather always had some sort of pocket knife on them along with a watch and a leather wallet. So most of his inspiration comes from the two men he's always looked up to the most. He's always had a desire to create and build things and has always done a lot of woodworking so leather craft was kind of a natural progression for him. He started out about a year and a half ago and fell in love with creating items that served a purpose in his EDC lineup and were also really beautiful. A beautiful story to some beautiful gear. In the caption, you'll find Nathan's Etsy store. I recommend following his journey, picking up one of his products, and have this experience for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy this kind of content, let me know down in the comments. It's really helpful. I haven't filmed a YouTube video in over eight months, so I'm kind of trying out some different things to see what you guys enjoy, and it would mean a whole lot to me if you guys would subscribe and leave some comments letting me know if you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.